हेलो एवरी वन लेट्स स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज मैंगोज राउंड द ईयर दिस इज चैप्टर फोर एंड द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इंक्लूडिंग द टॉपिक वट एवर वी हैव टू स्टडी टूडे दैट इज स्पॉयल इज अ फूड देन रीजन ऑफ फूड स्पॉयल इज वट इज फूड प्रिजर्वेशन एज वेल एज द सम मैथड्स ऑफ प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ फूड वी विल स्टडी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स स्टार्ट स्पॉयल इज ऑफ फूड वट इज स्पॉयल इज ऑफ फूड स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेरी फैमिलियर विद द टर्म फूड यू ऑल ऑल ऑफ यू आर फॉन्ड ऑफ द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द डेलीशियस फूड यू लाइक टू ईट इवन द स्मेल ऑफ दीज काइंड ऑफ फूड गिव्स द स्टार्स वॉटरिंग आफ्टर हियरिंग द नेम ओनली स्टार्स वॉटरिंग इन योर माउथ सो दीज फूड आइटम्स आव इवन they are including the different kinds of the nutrients that's why they are very important for our daily life they are giving energy we have also discussed why do we eat food in the last chapter and in that i have told you that food is the source of energy it always gives the energy inside our body that's why we need food and we eat food sometimes when we cook food and because of the less careless um, less uh, carelessness of ourselves the food becomes spoiled it may takes one day two day or three day but after some times whatever the food you have prepared most of them become spoiled after three days or four days whatever most some of them even we can keep for a week but not longer than that okay so what is spoilers of food all the vegetables fruit and cooked food get spoiled at room temperature after some time such food lose the color flavor and taste how do we come to know that the given food is spoiled now by first of all when we smell it it gives the different smell sometimes pungent smell or sometimes a very unfamiliar kind of smell starts to arise from the food and that's why we came to know that the given food is spoiled now sometimes the taste become changed the taste of the food items are changed by that also we can know that the food is spoiled sometimes the color and the flavor also changed okay so these are the basic symptoms of these are the basic characters by which we can see that we can know that the given food item is spoiled basically the change in smell change in taste change in flavor change in color also all right means we can say that if the food items are changed in their color taste or flavor then or it also creates the harmful effect it starts to create the harmful effect on our body we can say that the food is spoiled now and it is not to be it should not to be consumed by anyone what is the reason behind the food spoil is how do this food is spoiled what is the reason what are the factors behind the uh, means spoiling of the food basically all of you know that in our an atmosphere there are the small small and lots a large number of microbes microbes means the microorganisms which cannot be seen by the naked eyes okay so in our atmosphere there are the large number of microorganisms or microbes are there when these microorganisms come in contact with our food items they creates the harmful effect on them they destroy their taste they spoil their color even then they spoil the food flavor also smell also whatever so these kinds of effect created by the microorganism is responsible for spoiling of the food basically the growth of bacteria bacteria is also a kind of microorganism as well as fungi these two are the microorganism which cannot be seen by the naked eyes even the growth of fungi we can see on the bread if you see the bread sometimes you have seen that the bread becomes greenish color after keeping one two or three days so or it gives the cottony appearance cotton like appearance on the food items these are the fungus which can which grow on the food items and spoil the food items so basically if 
we can say that the reason behind the spoilage of the food items are the growth of the microbes and these microbes are bacteria and fungi all right now what is food preservation why the food preservation is required students as i have told you that spoilage of food if the food becomes spoiled it creates the harmful effect on our body it should not be consumed it should not be eat that's why it is needed to preserve the food means to store the food for a long time okay so we can define the preservation of food that it is the process in which the perishable food materials are given a suitable physical and chemical treatment to prevent their spoilage in the simple term we can say that food preservation is the process to protect the food from being spoiled okay it can be done by the various process sometimes we treat with some chemicals we treat we add some chemicals in the food items we add some physical activities we do some physical activities with these food items to keep them safe and protect for a long time okay basically again i'm repeating what is food preservation food preservation is the process of keeping the food fresh healthy and nutritious for long time and it also protect the food it is also the process of protection of food from being spoiled how it can be done how the food preservation can be done we can say that what are the method of the preservation of food so students here some methods are given in your textbook also there are few methods given we will discuss these methods in next lecture but here i just wanted to introduce with these terms so that after just watching this lecture you come to know about the these uh, methods of food items and you these methods of preservation of food items and you start to know something about these process the first one is boiling then freezing salting oiling canning drying sweetening and pasteurization what are these process this we will discuss in next next lecture but up to here you have to just find these all process think ask to your elders and if you are not getting read your book and find these terms if you are not able to find no issue next lecture we will short we will discuss all these process but again i just want to summarize whatever today we have discussed that is what is the spoilage of food means spoilage of food is the process of spoiling food or destroying food or food becomes when food is changed in its taste in its flavor in its smell we can say that food is spoiled now what is the reason behind spoiling of food there are the small microorganism the growth of these microorganisms on the food items is response is the reason for spoiling food items and why the preservative what is preservation the process to protect the food from being spoiled is known as preservation and the methods of preservation there are the different methods a large varieties of the methods we can say that and these methods are boiling freezing salting oiling canning drying sweetening and pasteurization so we have discussed till now next lecture we will just discuss all these terms till then keep on watching keep on learning and have a good day